All right, ready, Trump people? Let's do this. Okay, I have some Trump people here. And as you know, I've been talking about Hillary Clinton. And I'm asking these Trump supporters to tell me, what do you think about um, the uh, federal government coming out against their emails? Well, there's corruption. I think it's great. So do you really think 11 days out of the election um, that a federal prosecutor should come out and try to prosecute Hillary Clinton on her emails? There is no time frame for the hand of the law, the arm of the law. I just have a question. You two are women, right? And, real um, women. Okay, you're real women, too. We're not, we're not trans uh, gender yet. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you're real uh, women, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Sorry. do you think you're voting against your own interests? No. No, you don't? Absolutely your own interests? Not. No way. Or, or any women? Well, or, 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 okay. No, I want to tell you, I'm voting for freedom. This okay. Is not, this all right. Let me ask you a question. Are any of you women like an executive or a boss at your job? Yes. Your boss? Yes. Okay, so do you believe in uh, women equality? Yes. Okay, do you think Donald Trump is going to take your women equality away from you? No. no. Why? Because he's for women. He's for jobs. He puts women in high power positions. These are all lies. The people are being misinformed. His campaign manager is a woman. Come on. Okay, his campaign manager is a woman. That's okay, right. so you're not polarized against Hillary Clinton. No, that's not why I'm polarized against Hillary Clinton. Why are you? Why are you against Hillary Clinton? I'm against Hillary Clinton because she, she is corrupt, big she time. Lies. She lies. She lies. She has uh, the administration that's on has done absolutely nothing for anyone. Uh -huh. Look at Detroit, Michigan. Okay, look at our jobs. Our jobs are not even. Every time you call the help desk or anybody there up in India or Pakistan or somewhere else, okay? We oh. need jobs here in but this wait, country. But wait a minute. Hold but on. Okay, okay go ahead. Manufacturing Hillary. back in this no. country. Hillary. Did you ever look at your labels on your clothes? It says made in China. Hillary, okay? Okay. Hillary thinks she's above USA? the law. No. She's turning this into the land of Hillary. This is based on freedom. This oh. is based on liberty and oh. justice for all, and she is oppressing the people. Oh. Wake up. She is oppressing people. I am for closing the borders and liberating the immigrants that are here, that are being abused and molested and indentured right. service. Right. That's what I'm against. Okay. I'm against li feeding the hungry here in our country. I'm for America. I'm for it. I'm for it. I said against it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. No, no, okay. I'm for it. Look, okay, I'm no. tired. I only okay. have five hours sleep. Okay, so I'm going to get my Hillary Clinton point of view. Um, most of the metal and steel that Donald Trump built his buildings came from China, and his ties came from if they're China. Available, over there. People she change. Right people change. People change. So, you know what? He he did. He did available, what the law allowed him to do. He was within his rights. The Ob the Clintons and the Obamas put all those into place. So he used them. He's a smart I man. I have a question. Because I have, I have, I have, I have one more question. What do you think? I have one more question for you. I have one more question. What do you think about Donald Trump? Okay, uh, the allegations of um, groping women and the sexual allegations. Listen, that's Hollywood. Okay? What do I think about it? Yeah, what do you I think, think about it? I think that uh, men. I, know I, I think that men are men, and they all do that. Okay, I think that he's just a real guy. What about what Clinton did with the cigar on the young intern? Right now, he's buying them Cuban cigars and he's lining up the interns. Get rid of Clinton. Thank you very much, ladies. God bless airport. you. God bless America. And vote for Trump. Trump is for freedom and Hillary is for treason. Okay. Woo! All right. Democratic correspondent, Calvin hey, Anderson. All I, all okay. I think, honestly, I think Hillary believes only wants, all she cares about is the title from the Capitol being the first woman president. She doesn't care about the people here in the United States. She cares more about global power. And money in her pocket. She cares about okay. the people in Haiti. Where supposedly, she, with the money that this woman has, she could help the entire island. Okay, my pastor went to Haiti, and they're begging him not to vote for her. Okay? Hillary is about so control. She wants to control the people. She's making the people feel like they need to be controlled. They need big government. They need this. They need oh, that. No, we, we need freedom. Change. We need a right need to bear change. arms. We need no, a right Obama to care. love and choose no, no. who we want. Marriage is for men and women. Okay? But I believe in the freedom of gay couples. But just not labeled as marriage. Think of your own term. Leave oh, marriage God. for the heterosexuals <laughs> and give the coin of... Some other thing. Dream it up. You guys are clever. You know how to cut body parts off and rearrange them.
Thank you very much. Democratic correspondent Calvin Anderson getting the point of views of Republicans. Now, my point of view is not their point of view, but this is how the country is polarized, and we have to come together. Now, I'm going to be voting for Hillary Clinton, and this shows you how you should get out and vote. Donald Trump's base is energized. Democrats, we must be energized. We must come out and we must vote heavily for Hillary Clinton. Thank you very much and have a great day.